Blended learning means different things to different people. This video explores the commonalities and differences among definitions. The term blended learning is usually used to indicate some combination of online learning and in-person face-to-face learning. It is used interchangeably with hybrid learning. It is usually not synonymous with online learning, which typically refers to courses or instruction that is wholly online with no face-to-face -face components. However, within that broad definition of online plus in-person learning modalities, there's a lot of variation in what people might mean when they say blended learning. Perhaps the most famous form of blended learning is the flipped class. In a typical flipped class, the instructor records lecture type material for students to watch online outside of class and reserves class time for in-person face-to-face activities. Here the methods of instruction may not change so much as where instruction typically takes place. Lectures become homework and things that students would typically do at home like problem sets, lab assignments, or student projects are now done collaboratively in class with an instructor present. For the Next Generation Learning Challenges grant funded project that Bryn Mawr led in 2012-2013, we defined blended learning more restrictively as a course in which students actively assessed and got feedback on their learning through their work in the online materials. Courses developed for this study typically involved online interactive tutorials, exercises, or quizzes that were either auto-graded or enabled peers and instructors to give feedback more efficiently and quickly. In some cases, the structure and teaching methods used in the in-class portion of the course remain largely unchanged. More commonly, however, faculty use the online materials to replace or reduce lecturing and use the learning data generated by the interactive materials to redesign in-class activities. The term blended learning is sometimes also used to refer to courses in which the online component is one or more digital projects that students work on. Students typically work on these projects collaboratively and predominantly outside of class, but some in-class time may be devoted to planning, discussion of related theoretical or methodological issues, and student presentations of progress or the final product. Finally, at some colleges the term blended or hybrid learning is used to describe courses in which some students attend locally in person while others connect from remote locations, perhaps other institutions, through digital technologies. In this case, the remote students essentially take an online course, while students who meet with the professor in person may take a wholly face-to-face -face course or one that combines online and face-to-face -face elements. The image in the blue box shows one method for doing this. Here a professor is addressing a classroom of students with one at student attending remotely via the iPad that's on a special stand on a table in the foreground. The image in the gray box on the right shows the same scenario from the professor's perspective with the remote student appearing on screen on the iPad. 